So you've heard about the, uh, the motivation for creating open social, and now you've even seen how simple it is to build uh, an application using open social. But now let's shift our attention and see what the industry is doing and look at some of the great demos that our partners have already built. To begin with, we'd like to invite Akesh and uh, Jeremiah up on stage from High Five and from Sly. Thanks, Vic. Hi, my name is Akash Garg. I'm the CTO and co-founder of High Five. Just to give you some background on High Five, we're one of the largest social networking websites in the world. Um, to give you a sense of our global audience, uh, we are a top 10 site overall. We're the number one social networking website for the Spanish-speaking audience, and we're currently the number one overall website in seven different countries. Tonight, we're really excited to be part of the open social announcement because now for the first time, third-party developers will gain access to all of High Five's 35 million monthly visitors. My name is Jeremiah Robinson, and I'm the CTO of Slide. Slide has pioneered the idea of embedding third-party applications into social networks. It wasn't two years ago where we were having our first slideshow show up on MySpace, and now we have served hundreds of millions of our social widgets every day. What we're excited about today is taking that next step in the evolution of social applications. Powered by open social, our applications can be richer and more fully integrated than we ever had possibility before. Let's take a look at an application on High Five and see what we're talking about. So what you're seeing here is actually a typical High Five profile page, actually my profile page. And you'll see, you know, you have my photo, my friends, some activities going on on the side. Um, but what's new on this page um, and that was enabled by Open Social and Slide was the fact that we have this new application called Top Friends that's showing up within the profile page, seamlessly integrated. And Jeremiah is going to talk a little bit about how they built that and kind of embedded it right into High Five's experience. So Top Friends is an application that allows you to express yourself through your friends and through skins. And what we are able to do is through Open Social, gather a list of friends, gather their profile photos, and actually get links through to their profiles. So we're going to click on a link to my profile. And what you'll see here is that an open social application isn't confined to a little box. It's open. It can gather information and go to different places in, different, in the social application. And that allows us to pull a fully integrated experience throughout the social websites. What we have here is another one of our applications. This application is called the FunWall. It's a rich media application where you can add sketches, slideshows, fun pics, and even videos. One thing to note about this application is that High Five has an existing feature called comments where people generally are leaving text comments to each other. And now with Open Social for the first time, we're able to have third party developers add a much more rich application like FunWall right into the experience. And as David said, this is just open web standards. We're using Flash, we're using JavaScript, we're using all the tools that every one of us has used to make our websites before. I'm going to show you what we can do with it. We're going to make a fun pics. Now, all of our applications have two different views. One is a profile view, which is contained within the profile, and one is a canvas page, where, which we're allowed to do more fun, full, rich experience. So right here, I've used the open social APIs to grab a photo from my photo album, which we're then going to decorate by adding a thought bubble, adding some text, and then posting it to my profile. And what we're going to see here is this: when this ends up hosting, we're in a whole other view. You can have as rich an experience as you want, multiple tabs, multiple windows, multiple windows into the social experience. Great. So you know, we showed a couple applications here on High Five, and we're High Five is really excited about the evolution of this, and we're really going to aggressively try to implement the open social API as quickly as possible so that more developers can come in and add applications to High Five. And for developers, this is really exciting because we've taken this one application and with a little bit of styling tweaks with a new CSS style sheet, we were able to drop it into Orkut and we were able to drop it into MySpace and we are able to drop it into Friendster and any of these other networks that come along. So big day. Akash, Jeremiah, thank you very much. Thanks. I appreciate it. Let's keep the demonstrations going. And next up, we'd like to invite up Mark from Ning and Joe from Flickster. Mark, please, Joe. Thanks very much. I'm Mark Andreessen. I'm the co-founder of Ning. Hi, I'm Joe Greenstein. I'm co-founder and CEO of Flixster. 
Uh, and we're here, we're here to show you uh, demos of, uh, Flix, of uh, Flixster uh, operating as an application within Ning as, a, as an open social uh, implementation. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with Ning, Ning is a little bit different than the other kinds of partners uh, that Google has here today. Um, instead of being a social network, um, Ning is a system that lets users create their own social networks. And so you can go on Ning and create your own social network for any topic, anything you can conceivably think of. So your own equivalent of MySpace or Facebook or YouTube, but for you, your school, your class, your church, whatever you want. Um, users have already created over 115,000 networks on Ning um, so far. That number is um, growing fairly quickly each day. Um, in fact, 85,000 of those have been created just in the last eight months. Um, now, one example of a social network running on Ning today is the one that you see uh, here, if we can cut to the laptop, uh, which is uh, a network called Two Diabetes. And this is a social network for people affected by diabetes. And it was started by a gentleman named Manny Hernandez in Florida. And now he's running it on behalf of 1,500 people growing rapidly uh, who are now members of this network, um, sharing uh, with each other all kinds of information about diabetes, but also sharing with each other all many other kinds of information about their lives, you know, the kinds of music they like, movies, all kinds of things. Um, and of course, you know, when it comes to sharing information about movies, uh, a great way to be able to do that would be able to use a service like Flixster integrated into the Two Diabetes social network. Um, and that's exactly what we've been able to do and what we're showing uh, that's been implemented with Open Social. And so the Open Social API in a nutshell lets people have the Flixster app and user experience running within the social network, the Two Diabetes social network that they're comfortable with and that they like using today. Uh, so to show that, I'll turn it over to Joe. Great. So, so Flixster is a social application for reviewing and discovering movies with your friends. Um, a little bit of background on the company. We currently uh, have two products, our destination website at Flixster.com and our application on the Facebook platform. Between the two, about 10.5 million people uh, review and discover movies with Flixster every month. So we're really excited to work with the open social APIs and with uh, you know, the more than 100,000 communities just on Ning alone to bring this application to millions and millions of more users. Um, so we can go ahead and uh, click into a user profile on Two Diabetes. Um, you can see basically the way this is working, this is a standard user profile on Two Diabetes uh, community. Most of the page is uh, pulling data directly from the Two Diabetes site as it usually would. But what we've done is we've integrated the Flixster application into the middle of the profile. So that section where you see the movie posters in the middle is actually coming live from Flixster servers. What Flixster is doing is using the Google Open Social API to get the user's identity, pull information from our database, database about that user's movie preferences, what they want to see, uh, movies they've seen recently, what their favorite movies are, so that they can use Flixster as basically a self-expression tool on their profile. But then what they can also do with the Open Social APIs is actually click into the application and now here we are, we're still within the two diabetes community, right? But now the, the vast majority of this page is actually coming powered by the Flixster application. So what Flixster is doing is again getting the profile information through the open social API from two diabetes to show you the person's name and their profile photo, then also getting their entire friends list, immediately going to our database and looking up the most recent movie reviews for that friends list and showing that as an activity stream on the right side of the page. And then if you click into a movie, what Flixster does is basically now turn any social community on the web into a full-fledged movie site, 35,000 plus movies that one can look up and immediately, unlike any other movie site, actually see your own friends and what they've said about that movie and maybe discover somebody else who wants to see the movie that you can go see it with. If you rate the movie within Flixster, you can immediately share that with your friends within any of these communities. So that's the Flixster application working live on Two Diabetes. Great. So this shows you, I mean, obviously the benefits of this approach is people don't have to leave the network they're comfortable with, the friends they're comfortable with, they can interact about movies or anything else that any other application will let them do um, within the Two Diabetes social network. Now, as I mentioned, the great thing about Ning is there are 115,000 networks already on Ning growing rapidly. Um, every single network um, that we have on Ning when we go live with Open Social will have the capability to use Flixster or any other Open Social compatible application. So just to show you a few examples of those, um, this is the Rapstar 50 Cents network on Ning. Um, not making that up, that's for real. Um, this is a uh, network for uh, car customizers, people into car customization, uh, called Dub Pages. This is a network for wakeboarders. Uh, this is a network for Japanese BMW enthusiasts. So there's all kinds of groups, all kinds of networks all over the world uh, that I think are going to very, very rapidly enjoy doing the kind of thing that we're here uh, talking about tonight. Um, and uh, let me uh, not close before having one chance to, pl to plug my blog. Um, and. Um, <laughs> I uh, give you the URL blog.pmarca.com, uh, which has several very, very interesting postings about open social. Thank you very much. <laughs>
geschafft. <lacht>